This is the Hydros, Hydronics module from the Hydrostar manual. Uh, you are looking at approximately 6 megahertz. Uh, I haven't tried this in the water yet. Mine was usually going between 15 and 20 kilohertz. So I'm going to test this one later on this week. You can see it's at a one-to-one -one ratio. As I increase the throttle, this is at idle. As I increase the throttle, you'll see it go up to a 10 to 1 uh, ratio. You'll see the pulse width change. It's about half. And that's about full. That's about a 10 to 1 ratio. Bring it back down to idle. One more time back up to full throttle or wide open throttle and then back down. And we'll pan over again to the Hytronics module with the connection for the O-scope. Uh, you'll also see the LED blinking. I'll try and get this as close as possible. This is idle. Again, I'm increasing it to go to full throttle or wide open throttle. Now we're at wide open throttle. And bring it right back down. To idle. Bring it back over. This is the amperage gauge. I prefer analog gauges over digital. Uh, they're a little bit easier to read. And uh, due to uh, EMP or something, they will still work. LEDs won't. I'll increase the throttle right now. You should see almost no difference. It looks like the amperage is actually going down. I'll bring it back to idle. So it actually did go down the more you increase the throttle but the load, the cells, will make up for that. Again, it's about 15 volts. Most cars charge at about uh, 14 volts. So, it all depends on where you're at in the world.